This is exactly what I'm looking for. It's absolutely perfect. Oh, and golf clubs, too. Great. Look, if I can just find the third one. Uh, what sort of charm are you looking for? A chili dog. I don't believe you'll find that here, sir. Uh, what about a little tiny jelly-filled donut? No. Uh. But we do have this. Yeah. Yeah, ice cream cone. Perfect. Would you have this one in strawberry or buttered pecan? I'm just kidding. It's a joke. I'm kidding you. Okay, I'll, I'll take these three charms, and if you can put them on that bracelet, can you gift wrap them? Oh, of course. Okay, thank you. Hey. Oh. Andrew. Hey, how you doing? What are you doing? Well, I was going to ask you, what are you doing in the jewelry section? I'm impressed. You have quite a track record here, in photography, that is. Well, you see right there where it says uh, banner staff photographer? Mm -hmm. uh, I covered hundreds of crimes, you know, people cheating, robbing, people killing each other. I mean, that's what a criminal lawyer looks for in an investigator, right? Well, uh, yes, except that I'm looking for someone to help solve the crimes, not take pictures of them. I know, but in every single one of these cases, I, I dealt with the police, I dealt with the victims, I dealt with witnesses. After a while, you, you kind of get a feel for what makes the city click and who's doing the clicking, if you know what I mean. How long have you been here in Landview? Oh, seven months. And you mean to tell me you can't use somebody who's been around for seven years? Someone who's got a ton of contacts? Someone who has got the kind of clout that I've got just by virtue of the fact that I'm Asa Buchanan's grandson? You don't have salesmen list listed down here, and uh, you really should. That was one heck of a pitch. Uh, excuse me, I'm, my assistant's out, so... Miss Holliday! You saw the doctor, you got another opinion, and what did she say? Mm, well, she said what apparently any doctor in the world would say after examining me and reading the biopsy. The lump in your breast's malignant. That's the word, yes. To schedule an appointment for surgery? Do you know, I have never liked these earrings. Why don't you take them? No, Mother, you can't just do nothing about this. You've got to make a decision. I already have. Angela Holliday, this is Cord Roberts. Cord, this yeah, we, is Yeah, we've already met. Oh. A couple of times. Well, then, could you manage to entertain each other while I go out and get the file that I think we'll need? Yeah, I think we can manage that. Great. Thank you. Well, this is uh, a surprise. Not really. Oh, then you were expecting to see me here today. Every meeting is a part of God's plan, Cord. Yeah, well, it must be a pretty strange plan, then, if you think about some of the people that I've met over this last year. Well, I bet you've heard that the Lord works in mysterious ways. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that once or twice. It's true. So have you given any more thought to coming to our first prayer meeting? I have a wonderful feeling about it. Listen, I, I was very impressed hearing you speak down in Texas, but I got to tell you, th this prayer meeting thing, it's not my kind of thing. I understand. Please don't take that personally. <laughs> no. Okay, we're all set. Cord, let me think over what we talked about, and then I'll get back to you as soon as I've made up my mind. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time. Sure. Uh, Miss Gannon, Cord doesn't have to leave. In fact, I was hoping he'd stay. I need his help. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but that is funny. I can just, I can picture Ruth Ann in bed with her bad back trying to talk Duke into putting the can down. <laughs> You know, it's, it's good to hear that smile in your voice again. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, give Duke a kiss for his old man, will you? Oh, you too. 
Bye bye. <laughs> Rachel, uh, hi. I, I didn't hear you come in. I was just talking to Leanne. Uh, I noticed. Uh, D Duke, Duke got a hold of this can of baby powder, and by the time he was done, the whole house was white. So. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Look, um, here. What's this? Those are the study notes for the American history exam. I said I'd bring them over. I mean, you do remember talking to me on the phone, don't you? Look, bye. But, wait, Rachel, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to keep fighting with you, all right? That is why I'm leaving. Leave? You, you can't just walk out of here. We are a couple, all right? Now, couples talk their problems out. Well, I don't know if we can work this one out. Why not? Because maybe we are too different. Is that code word for black and white? No. Have you forgotten that it was your friend, your fraternity buddy, Todd, that, that made racist remarks right to my face? And all you did was stand there and say that, that I overreacted. I got him to apologize, didn't I? Oh, thank you. I was trying to help. I don't know what I did that was wrong, all right? What you did that was wrong is that you didn't react from the very start. Look, um, Kevin, until you understand how deep my feelings are about discrimination, we are going nowhere as a couple. Rachel, wait a minute. We, we can work this out. How? Kevin, it takes two. And you are book solid. I mean, between studying and, and hanging out with your Kappa Alpha Delta pals and yakking with Leanne and... Do you realize that we've been in two arguments this week the minute that I get off the phone with Leanne? Meaning? Meaning, I understand that you're mad at me, but is all this heat coming at me because of how I reacted with Todd, or is some of this have anything to do with Leanne? I am not jealous of Leanne, if that is what you're thinking. Rachel, you are the one that I want, okay? You. Only you. This arguing is just driving us apart. And to tell you the truth, it's driving me nuts, okay? I can't handle it. Can we just start all over again? I got plenty of time to do that. Mother, what are you going to do? This. You're scheduled in a surgery for tomorrow. Landview Hospital, here I come. Oh, Mother, that's wonderful. <laughs> All right, Kathy, honey. Now, I want you to understand that this is all that I'm going to do. What do you mean? I mean, this lumpectomy, it's the last procedure I'm going to go through about this. But you have to have radiation. And you may need some additional surgery no, or something. No, 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 no. No way, no how. This is it. End of the line. Mother, you are an intelligent woman. Why are you being completely irrational about this? Cassie, I'm not going to get sick from chemotherapy or lose my hair or be disfigured. And I will never, ever let them take my breast. I, 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 I'm not suggesting that they will, but they might. They might have to. They might. <laughs> well, let me tell you, there is no way, no chance that they will ever get to do that. Okay, I won't allow it to happen. Mother, Cassie, this isn't open to discussion. Okay? Oh, there he is. <laughs> what a sight for sore eyes you are. Um, wait a minute, you're moving in and this is all you've brought? Uh, well, I traveled light. Hmm. Well, um, I'll just check on extra towels and things. Excuse me. Carlotta! How you doing? You don't look so hot. Just I gotta talk to you. There's no other way to put this. But you just may be my mother's only hope.
allergy eyes. Last hope, what's that supposed to mean? She's going to have the lump removed tomorrow. So that's good news, isn't it? No, because she refuses to go any further, even if the doctors say that more treatment's needed. You mean even if the cancer spreads, they, they miss some of it? She's willing to take the chance. Even if it kills her? That's what she says. Oh, that's crazy. I need you to help me convince her to fight this thing no matter what it takes. Why me? Because, Jason, nobody means more to her than you, and she'll listen to anything you say. Cassie, I'm no hero. Yes, you are to my mother, Jason. Please, help convince her to change her mind. I don't think anybody should be dependent on me for any of this, Jason, Cassie. I need you to do this. All right, that's taken care of. Oh, do you know I feel so much better now that you're here? Honey, um, didn't you say you had an appointment downtown? Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I was just leaving. Mm. I love browsing around department stores. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, I was just in the electronics department. They've got this new television. Hmm. Hangs right on the wall like a painting. You can't believe the picture on this thing, you know? I mean, I couldn't stop watching it. Yeah, yeah but you tore yourself away, you know, long enough to come down to the uh, woman's jewelry department. Sure, I'm curious, you know? I want to keep up on consumer consumption. That's yeah. all on the cutting edge there. Who's buying what? And, yeah. This will make the woman in your life very happy. Thank you. I think I'll be checking out that TV now. Andrew, no, wait, come here. I, come on. Look, I don't want you to get the idea that, like, there's a big secret. No, 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 hey, it's OK. None of my business, you know. It's for Nora. Nora? Yeah. Nora Gannon. Yeah. Your attorney, Nora Gannon? Oh, yeah, well, we were friends. I mean, we are friends, you know, best of friends. We've gotten to know each other over the past couple of months, and <laughs> This woman is phenomenal, Andrew. Yeah, nice. Hey, yeah, Nora, Nora, she's, she's, she's got a real spark. You know? Yeah, spark. Yeah. I mean, she walks in any room and just brightens up the whole yeah. place, you know? All that electricity coming off of her. I mean, just that, you know, that electromagnetic field just oh, kept yeah. pulling me closer and closer, and all of a sudden, zap. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you're uh, more than friends. But... Let's just say we're... Uh, we're dating. <laughs> I never thought I would use that term again or or even do it. Yeah. Date. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Anyway, not that many people know about Nora and me. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you something. The whole world's going to know about it if you keep walking around with this smile on your face. Well, it's new. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I haven't even told Clint about what's going on yet. Yeah. No, I understand. I mean, Cassie and I, we kept things very, you know, kept it down. Yeah. You know, until we knew where we were heading and everything. Exactly. Yeah. So you wouldn't. Mention it to anyone. No. Hey, I promise. No. Thank you. Okay. No, it's no problem. I just, I'm glad to see you so excited. I am. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. Nora put life back into my life, and she is the best thing about it. <laughs> so, the building that you're interested in, uh, wasn't at the Landview Botanical Gardens? That's right. That old place has been closed down for years. Not to God. My assistant, Rebecca, and I were out walking, and I got a flash of light out of the corner of my eye. It was the sun reflecting off the glass of a beautiful dome. The Arboretum. I got such a sense of well-being, I knew it was the place, the perfect place for our meetings. Meetings? Prayer meetings. I travel from town to town, spreading the word of God, usually from a tent. But this building just called out to me. So I asked around, and I found out that who the owners were, and they sent me to you. Well, I, I think that you should know that the uh, owner is a fanatic about the care of his buildings. Oh, that's no problem here, Nora. As far as I know, Miss Holliday's about as responsible as you can get. Well, with an endorsement like that, I don't see why we can't try to work something out. That is, if you really want to rent the place. I mean, you haven't even been inside yet. I know it'll be perfect. Okay, well, you may want to just take the keys and um, take a peek inside. I'll tell the watchman you're coming in. Please be careful. You have been very kind, Miss Gannon. My pleasure. Uh, 
Cord, I don't suppose you... Oh, no. Never mind. What? Well, you obviously know the Botanical Garden very well. Uh, I did a photo spread there when I was over at the Banner. I think it was called Forgotten Landview. Yeah, what about it? I would appreciate it if maybe you could come and look at the building with me. I'm uh, so blinded by love for the place that I'm afraid I may overlook any potential problems. And a photographer's sharp eye could really help me. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll be glad to have you out. The thing to remember is that the Confederacy was hoping that England would be its ally during the Civil War. Yeah. Yeah, having allies is important. I think that is the big lesson for today. Definitely. Now that we've covered the Civil War, I think uh, we should talk about our own little skirmish. Well, do you think you can be civil about it? <laughs> Why not? <clears throat> In history, many conflicts and resolutions. You know, if two warring countries can make up, why can't we? Okay, so when should we begin these uh, negotiations? I think we already have. Oh, yeah. Kevin. Mm -hmm. Sorry to crash your party, but Todd's in trouble. You gotta come to the house. What do you mean? What's going on? Kevin. Going... Wait, wait, wait a second. What's going on with Todd? He's going Kevin, crazy. you're not leaving. I may have to deal with Todd, all right? Why? Because I'm the president of the fraternity. He's a brother. Talk about history repeating itself. I mean, you always have someone else that needs you first, right? But there is only one person in this world who never comes first, and that is me. Note, Ray Angela Holliday. Contact Seward uh, York uh, about rental agreement for the Botanical Gardens building. Um, it's open. Then uh, please file all the Garfield Trust papers and the Whitson <coughs> Trust papers. Hello, beautiful. Hi, you're gorgeous. You got great legs. So do you. Can I make a suggestion? Anything. Stop that recorder, take the tape out, and burn it. <laughs> uh, I wasn't expecting you. Yes, I was. Yes, I just can't keep away from you. Oh, I know the feeling. Well, you know what? Hmm? This is a semi-public office, which means it's only semi-private. Yes, yes. I just, uh, I came by to give you this. Can I open it now? Well, if you don't, I'm not leaving. Fine. <laughs> oh, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh, Each charm is for something that we've done. Yes, but not everything we've done, right? <laughs> Tennis racket, golf clubs, an ice cream cone. What, no chili dog? I tried, believe me. <laughs> you are so sweet. I guess this just, uh, just means that, uh, you've really charmed the pants off me. Yeah, 
Oh, yeah. Let me, uh, let me help you. I think that's got it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of a neat old place. The light, the quiet. Oh, there's a power here. The power of peace. It's got some beautiful windows, too, doesn't it? <laughs> They seem to draw you upwards without taking your feet off the ground. You feel all that in this place, huh? Oh, yes. This place is already a tabernacle. I just hope that our prayer meetings can do it justice. You know, you're gonna have to get yourself some chairs. We'll have all the chairs we need. Rows and rows and rows of them. <laughs> Can't you see all the... Smiling faces taking in God's love. And over here, we'll spring this off for counseling. And this will be the altar. On a platform. <laughs> you know, you're making some pretty big plans for this traveling tabernacle. Well, I have a feeling that we will be in Landview for a while. That's why the setting has to be perfect. Oh. Imagine this. White, white drapes, soft as clouds, going all the way up to the ceiling over the altar. And you're talking some big money, too. I mean, to get this place to look the way you've envisioned it. Yes. Then again, sometimes money's not a problem. How do you mean? Well, I'd like to make a donation. Why don't you just tell me who to make the check out to and for how much? No, put that away. What's the matter? I don't want anything from you. Not one thing. Mm -hmm.